Hey everyone, welcome back. If you missed out on the last episode, here's my finished weapon, my finished gun, looking pretty smick. Alright, beautiful. So in this episode, we're going to be doing some animations just to make our make everything look a bit better. So let's go ahead and open our player script. And let's create a couple new variables. Public string walk anim, straw for animation. Public string sprint anim. Public string sprint return anim. Public string sprint anim two and public string junk anim anim. Beautiful. Ooh. That um, are oh, beautiful. Let's go ahead and go back to Unity. We're gonna set up our players. So we're gonna go create game object, create empty. Make sure it's on zero, 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 and we'll call this FPS holder. Actually, FPS system. Alright, beautiful. Let's go ahead and control D. Let's do that about four or five times. And we're gonna layer each one, child each one to the last one. Then let's go ahead and get our main camera, which is our gun, and put that on the last one. Actually, just let me think here for a second. Yeah, so let's just leave that the way it is. Let's rename these holder. Let's create an empty object under our main camera. And we'll call it walk animation. Create another one. Call it sprint animation. And create another one called Sprint Animation 2. Let's try it out. Then let's make one more actually. Call it Weapon Manager. We'll try the gun to that. All right. So let's go ahead and start with our sprint animation. Alright, so let's go back to player. Let's go give input dot get key down key code dot left shift and let's go Let's a new variable, public game object, sprint anim object. While we're here, public game object, sprint anim two object. Let's go public game object, walk anim object. In public game object jump anim object. All right, so let's go sprint anim object dot get component animation brackets dot play sprint anim. Then let's go if input dot get key up key code dot left shift sprint anim object dot get component animation dot play sprint return anim.
That needs another bracket. All right, let's come back here. Now, sprint animation. We're going to go component, miscellaneous, animation. Take off play automatically. And then we can go ahead and go right click create down here. Animation, call it sprint. Then we go up here and we click debug. I'm going to mark it as legacy. So on sprint animation, we'll apply our sprint object. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead and click record. I think it's about 0.20. And on our sprint game object. Go ahead and make it really pronounced. That'll do, we can always update it later. Then let's go ahead and go sprint return. Add the sprint return animation. And we're just gonna switch these around. Right, gorgeous. Then we're going to go to our player. We're going to assign our sprint animation. Sprint animation 2. A walk animation. And we'll rename one of these up here to jump animation. And we'll also sign that. All right, so let's type in sprint animation. Let's call it the same name as our animation, sprint and sprint return. All right, let's click play. And now when we sprint, our gun will move like we're sprinting. All right, next we're gonna add a walk animation. Let's go to walk animation. Let's go. Walk animation, component, miscellaneous animation. Take off play automatically. Right click, create animation. And we'll call it walk. Then let's assign it. Put it in here. Click on walk. Go debug, click legacy. Back to normal. I think we need this on loop. Let's go ahead and start creating a walk animation. So click click record, go to about 20. Right, gorgeous. Let's do some code. Let's go give input dot get key 
keycode.w. Then let's do these two lines, which means or. Actually, no, let's go. And is sprinting equals false. And let's go or. Do it for the S, do it for the A, and do it for the D. And the D. Let's try a new variable. Public bull is walking. We'll go is walking equals true. Else is walking equals false. We actually go ahead and put that down in the movement bit. We'll go if is walking walk anim object dot get component animation dot play walk anim. Alright. Let's go ahead and put in our walk animation name, which is walk. See if the boolean works. Take off loop, bit rusty at this. I've done this in a bit. There we go. Now we've got a walk animation, no worries. Looking good. All right, so let's go ahead and just do our last sprint animation. So let's go right click, create animation, sprint two. Let's go up here, debug, change to legacy. Go to sprint animation to object, right click miscellaneous animation, take off play automatically. Add our animation, then let's go back to our code and go if is sprinting sprint anim to object dot get component animation dot play sprint anim to was it yeah gorgeous let's type in our sprint anim to animation sprint to Right now, let's go ahead and yep, sprint two, sprint two animation, and we'll do this for every let's say ten. Let's go sort of deep with it. And let's go this way this time. And that should work. And that should work. Let's give it a shot. Gorgeous. Now that looks a lot better. So I'm just going to change one thing, which is. If 
walking and is grounded. Alright, let's try that out. Gorgeous, looking good, looking good. It already feels addicted to play, which is awesome. Yeah, it feels nice, that feels good. All right, cool. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a jump animation. Let's go component, miscellaneous, animation, take a play automatically. Create, animation, call it jump. Yeah, go debug, legacy. Change back to normal. Sign our jump animation. Let's go ahead and make it. Let's maybe go to 30. You know what? Let's go ahead and remove this. Place this to holder. And let's go ahead and make it down here. Let's call it jump animation. So the weapon manager. Jump animation. Let's go ahead and click component miscellaneous animation. So our jump animation. Alright, so let's put it 30 seconds. All right, gorgeous. So let's go ahead and go down our code to here. Let's go ahead and go void jump. Put that down there, put that up there. Go jump animal object, so get component animation, dot play jump anim and over here let's type in jump. And that should work. Error. There's no animation. All right, we got to change the jump animation in here. All right, I'm just going to change. That and make it come down slowly as well. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. There we go, jump animation. Now what we need is when we land. But this is about 20 minutes in, so I'll do that in the next episode. Alright, thanks for tuning in guys. Then we got a game looking boss. See you in the next episode. Bye!